Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. Now today I've got a simple little winter scene for you. I just tried to create a nice bit of atmosphere here using a limited palette. So let's just crack straight on with the painting. Right, let's kick it off with the usual coating of water and then um, you know, let's get the palette the right way around. I've always got the palette the same way around. Um, A bit of, bit of that, and then a bit of alizarin ultramarine. Now the, we're going something like, like that. the hill. That's sloping down this side to something, something like that. I'm going to get my big flat brush, well, three quarter inch this one. And I've got a sort of silhouetted house here at the, up the top of the hill. And it's something, it's about, about there. I might have to go over this again in a bit because the paper's a bit wet still. So it might just soften off a bit too much. I just have to see how it goes. And that just comes down, something like that. Might need to do that a bit sharp in a minute. Um, but for now, let's put these in. I'm just going to switch to my rigger brush. tree there. Stick some over there like that. We've got a bigger tree here. And we'll stick some over there. A little bit smaller. And just a little flick, 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 just to suggest all manner of things growing on this right hand bank. Something a little bit bigger on that side. Um, put that down just to the just down on the edge. So we've got the, might just about be all right that house. Um, also got a, some nice telegraph poles. Some there, some up there. And stick one up there. Uh, 
I don't, I don't need the little things at the top. If I just put a mark there to there, and there to there. And it's coming up here like that. There's actually two or three up there. I've got a few little just random things growing up here. Just just mark out. Actually no, I'll do that with the with this. So we got the bushes down there. They're quite high. These ones on this side. I don't think that house is dark enough. I'm going to do it again. Just go over it. I think now it's dry. Might work a bit better. I think. Go back to the flat brush. I'll just mix a bit of dark. Shape right, so it was something like that, and then just pull that down and we'll stick a little chimney up there. I think now I just need to blend it in. See, that's that's a lot darker than everything that's around it, so I'm just going to blend it in. So that side as well. Just bring those tones in. Now I just want to pull some of this colour into the to the road. Just a few little fence posts. Now, I just want to put a little man at the top of the hill. So, back to the size zero rigger brush. Um, and just. dog next to him. Um, I'm just working, I'm going to have shadows coming across here, so I'm just going to 
like a couple of little shadows like that. Now I'm mixing stuff. I'm just mixing all the colours together and just making a sort of shadowy colour. Enough water, I don't want to be too, too strong, but just to... I want to be able to see underneath. Before I do that, I'm just going to... I'm just going to make some marks in the road. Put a bit of texture basically on the uh, on the ground. So just make this shadowy colour. So I'm just going to give it a quick test. That looks all right. So I'm just going to straight across the foreground. I think um, just cutting across like this. sign this one down here and call this one finished so let's stick a mount on that and see what it looks like so here's our finished painting so we're going to have a closer look at it so sky area um, just focused on brushing in from the, both sides and from the top I'm just making sure I left this light area in the middle that was going to act as this light source um, as well as the, the light sort of coming from this sort of general left hand side because so obviously the light's coming actually this direction but I, I didn't really want to do the shadows directly down so I've sort of the light sort of continues around there it comes from the side casting from these um, hedgerows and, and building so the building just putting very very simply using the flat brush and then got a little man and dog at the top of the hill just put a bit of texture in with the rigger brush, a few lines there. They lead up the path as he makes his way past the little cottage. Um, got the telegraph wires in there. Little bits of unpainted bit to suggest the snow. Bit of rigger work for those sort of faded trees. And then same on the right hand side. Scrape the odd fence post in as well. Um, just a few random details up this right hand bank. And then the right hand hedge row, just putting using the corner of the hike, nice and simple. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks always for your support. Do join me over patreon.com if you uh, get the opportunity. Um, until then, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask.
and I'll see you again soon.